Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what's in my bag on the current bag that I'm using. This is the Mini Carson shoulder bag in the retired pattern Lavender Meadow. I still get comments every once in a while on my other Mini Carson what's in my bag video that I did like a year or so ago. And I thought since I'm using this bag, I'm loving this style, I would do an updated what's in my bag video and address a couple of the questions that I had gotten on the older one in Moonlight Garden. I'm really enjoying this bag style. It is a great small, maybe not medium, I would say probably like a smallish, medium-ish size bag. Fits all of my necessities really well. It's really lightweight. It's got good organization. And I particularly love it in this Lavender Meadow print. I have been obsessing over Lavender Meadow um, for a few weeks now. I've always liked it. I enjoyed it since it came out. And I did pick up a couple small things in it when it first came out. But then after that, I just kind of ignored it. <laughs> There's so many um, Vera Bradley patterns out there that sometimes I focus in on just a couple and obsess over a couple and get accessories and just a couple prints at a time. And then as soon as one is retired, one that I really like, I start going crazy over it. This was a spring 2019 print, I believe, so it's about two years old now. I picked this up on Amazon recently and it had the one day free shipping, so I just got this um, a few days ago and I've been using it ever since and really enjoying the bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the what's in my bag video. So first we'll just take a look at the features and while we look at the features, I'll talk a little bit about the Lavender Meadow print. With this particular print, you have like an off whitish gray background. And if you look in closely, you'll see that the background has this stitch design, almost like a cross stitch design. So if you're new to this pattern or you've always wanted something in it, but you're like, I don't wanna deal with a white background, rest assured that this is not like a pure white background, it's more gray than it is white. And you do have a bit of that stitch design again, in the background of the print. So you don't have to worry about it being like overwhelmingly stark white. On top of that, you have beautiful pops of lavenders, purples, greens, teals, mints, and you have ladybugs and bees sprinkled in this pattern, which is one of the crown jewels, in my opinion, of the lavender meadow print. Even though the ladybugs and the bees are quite amazing, You'll see I have a nice little bee on the front there, and I've got my favorite little ladybug scaling the leaf there. While I do love those pieces of the print, I just think the whole print itself, from the leaves to the florals to everything in between, I just think it's gorgeous. And even if I didn't get any critters on the front, I was going to be very satisfied with this bag. It so happens that I have a critter on every panel of the outside of the bag. So every piece of fabric on the bag going all the way around to the side, I have critters. So I'm excited to, to share that with you. So on the front of the bag, we have this pleather gray, I would say, uh, label. It is not stitched behind the label, but it is stitched on either side. And here we have this front flap. If you've watched my other like large Carson shoulder bag videos, you will hear me talk about the, the flap on that particular bag and how I don't like it. On the mini Carson, I think it's completely fine. I have accepted the flap on this bag because it is a smaller bag and it's just got the one pocket re really easy. And the pocket here has this curved shape, as you can see. See how it curves, it doesn't go straight across. So I wouldn't even bother cutting off the flap on this because the pocket is not as deep. I mean, it's still deep, but you know, because it curves like that, I, I'd be a little more afraid that my stuff would fall out. So the flap makes perfect sense on this style for me. Now with some of the snap button closures, the magnetic snap closures, the snaps can be really strong on some Vera bags that have this feature. This idea I actually took from somebody in Buzz and I apologize, I can't remember her name, but she recommended putting washi tape over top of the snap button. 
So when you close the bag, it, you know, it still finds its place. It's still connected to the magnet, but it's so easy to lift it up. So it's not, so for example, if I didn't have the tape on there, it finds the snap so well that it settles in and rests in. And sometimes it's really hard to get it open. You have to pull with force. And I do feel like that is eventually going to wear the fabric around the snap. Not so much on the, mi the mini Carson though, because on the large Carson, the, the snap piece is fortified differently. It's like this larger faux leather piece that it sits on top of. That I was more worried about the snap wearing it down. And that's why I kind of got into that mode where I'm like, I'm taking off the flap to this bag. And, you know, I also like the, the two, because the, the larger Carson has the two slip pockets. I liked having those exposed because they were taller, deep pockets because it is a bigger bag. Again, to me, the flap makes sense on this particular purse. So putting this really pretty floral washi tape on there makes a, a whole lot of sense to me. And again, the snap still finds its place. So you'll get a good look at the interior print and it's just these really whimsical ladybugs with some have flowers, some have leaves, some have flowers and leaves, but they're all really happy and whimsical and they even have this little sheen to them but you can see the background that they're sitting on top of shows that cross stitch looking print and that is the print that is the background of the outside as well again it's a little harder to see because lavender meadow is a little busier but that is the same color and print design that is also here in this pocket, it's a nice size pocket, goes all the way down to the bottom into the corners. I have my hand sanitizer. I usually have my chapstick in here too, but it's in a different pocket right now. I've got the two sets of keys, and I also have my pepper spray, which admittedly goes pretty nice with the pattern. So that's what's in the front pocket. You'll see that the strap is a removable adjustable swivel type strap honestly I think these have become some of my favorite straps that Vera makes because I do like fixed straps ie straps that don't come off the bag at all but I find that these are just really useful because when you go and pick the bag up and you're ready to put the bag on you the strap swivels and kind of finds its place whereas sometimes a fixed strap gets a little bit tangled down here I notice that happens sometimes with my on my on the go bags because those do not have removable straps. So I like that on, on the Carson styles and some other styles that have this, like the VBU satchel, it has that nice swivel strap so it never gets tangled when you pick it up. That's just great. And the hardware on the strap is the perfect size hardware, I think, for this type of bag. You have the Vera Bradley uh, kind of pressed into the metal there. On the back, you have one of my favorite features on any Vera Bradley bag, which is a nice, large, hidden magnet pocket. In an ideal world, this would be hidden magnet to me. Um, sorry, my dog's barking out there outside. Um, but yeah, so there is a hidden magnet here, which is great. I did do a little modification to this bag. So typically, this pocket in the back, it is stitched closed in the corners. So you have about maybe, just eyeballing this here, maybe like nine inches of open space. So when you open this up, the corners do not open because they are stitched closed. Well, I took a little baby pair of scissors and I broke, you could see some of the string there. I broke the stitches open so it would open all the way. So see how that corner opens all the way? That was originally stitched closed like this. My phone still slipped inside of this back pocket with that stitched closed, but it just didn't make sense to me that the stitch was closed. So I took my baby pair of scissors on both sides and I opened that up. So that way you have a full fledged open pocket. That just made more sense to me. Um, I did throw my chapstick back here, but this is the perfect place for keys or a cell phone. So you'll see that my cell phone fits perfectly, it's not closing to the magnet because I have the top pulled up like that. But if I put the top back down, see how it closes? Closes just fine. 
Um, I do have the regular size iPhone 11. Um, I have like a slim case on it, nice and slim, nice and flexible. So I think even if you had like an OtterBox type case on a phone around this size, or maybe even a little bit bigger, it will fit back there. But if you're someone ha who has one of those bigger tablet size phones and you got this bag, if some, for some reason it still doesn't fit, just take a little pair of scissors and cut the corners and utilize that extra space to slip in your phone. Um, because I, I think that it just works to do that. Here is the bottom of the bag. Yes, you get a lot of space with a small bag. I think that's wonderful. And while we're looking at the bottom, I wanted to show you what I was talking about earlier, how I have a critter on each panel, each side of the bag. So I got a ladybug there, and I, I'll tell you, I love these buds. And a ladybug there, and they're basically the same ladybug, but the, the fabric, or the same panels of fabric, but they're just flip-flopped, which is kind of cool. And then I have the bee on the front there. And then opening this up, I have one of my favorite pieces of lavender meadow, which is the ladybug crawling up the leaf, the stem of the leaf with all the pretty floral surrounding it. Then on this side, I've got a ladybug and another ladybug on this side. Oh, I do have a ladybug up here. And I've got a bee here and another ladybug right here. I don't think there are any critters on the strap, so that's the only piece of the strap that is missing a critter, but honestly, again, I love the critters in this print, and I'm glad that it has, has the ladybug and the bees, but even if this didn't have any critters, it would still be a gorgeous pattern on its own. So that's really enjoyable. Okay, so with the zipper, this is the main interior, we're getting into the inside here. You've got the pleather loop zipper, and yes, you do have the rough hard metal zipper. I will say this about the zippers. This moves relatively smoothly. It's a straight line across. It's not like a scoop. It's not like a, you know, a rainbow type zipper. It goes straight across. So it is 90% of the time very smooth and easy to open, not getting stuck at all. And I proved this with my um, older large Carson shoulder bag. When you use it a lot, the zipper does eventually wear down and soften a little bit. And yes, it will eventually not scratch your hands because that bag is one of my most used bags in my collection and the zipper moves like butter. And it is one of these hard zippers. So the more you use these zippers, the better they get. I know I still don't like them, but they're, they're not bad. They're not a deal breaker for me necessarily anymore. Depends on the bag style and depends on the zipper because it can be finicky, right? But um, I like it here, it's fine. So we'll open up the bag. Right off the bat, you'll see, and I'm sorry that it's a little bit dark, but it's one of, it's kind of a cloudy day today. Really warm out, but no sun. But you'll see that I have a good amount of stuff in here with room to spare. On the back here, you'll see a nice size zipper pocket with the Vera Bradley nylon name plate there. And on the opposite wall, we've got the standard two slip pockets. You'll see sunglasses in one and lotion in the other. And yes, this is kind of a lavender meadow video because I have my lavender bouquet travel blanket and my limited edition banquet bouquet tote. So both, both lavender meadow patterns, just different colorations of them. So inside the zipper pocket back here, I'll go ahead and give you a peek. It's the normal stuff that I would keep inside of like a mini cosmetic or something. So we've got, you know, feminine products, we've got Tylenol, capsule, uh, Excedrin capsule, um, my medicine, a uh, couple hair ties, my hair pick, and I'm, I'm sorry again, it's so dark back there. But that pocket is full and I still was able to get my phone in the back, no problem. And I still have more room inside of the interior there. So act in the actual main interior of the bag, I have my tissue case and this is fully packed, a brand new pack of tissues. And in the zipper pocket, I have um, my baby pair of scissors, nail clippers, nail files, that type of deal. In my Cinda B Let's Get Techie in Purely Peacock, I have my usual charger items. I have this peppermint oil loose in my bag because I've, it's been a migraine week. It was weird because last week I was completely fine. This week I've had a migraine almost every day. So I have this loose in here because I've been using that. I have my AirPods, which the case 
looks very similar, I noticed that this week, to the Lavender Meadow print. Basically the same colors and some of the same leaf designs actually. I also have my usual uh, mini pouch from the Pencil Pouch Trio. This has my wet ones, antibacterial wet wipes, and this is in the Print Vines Floral. I have my usual Lug Tropical Multi mask pouch, and I just have like a, a regular mask in there, cotton mask. And last but not least, besides a couple little things at the bottom of the bag, which are just hair ties and rubber bands and stuff like that, I have my wallet. So this was the first, I believe the first item that I got in Lavender Meadow and the only items that I have had in the pattern when it first came out. I think I also got a little hipster, but I didn't keep that for too long because the little hipster is not my favorite bag. It's a little too small. I have a couple of them, but they're good for just really light days, really light carrying days. Um, so I don't have that one anymore, but this is something that's stuck with me for a long time and I will keep this forever. This is my zip ID and Lavender Meadow with the matching lanyard. And it's got my one of my favorite pieces of the Lavender Meadow print with the foliage. So I know in Lavender Meadow, you know, you've got a lot of beautiful purple flowers and purple um, and green are pretty much the dominant colors in this print. And I really like the green. I really, really do. I think the leaves are really well done. The pattern in general, I think, looks really realistic and detailed, and the designer responsible for this print should win an award because it is absolutely beautiful and one of the best prints I think Vera has ever done. It's just gorgeous. And I just love the, the leaf work and the shading. I've shown the Zip ID in several of my videos before, and I always talk about that, that fact that I just absolutely love the way the leaves are done. And of course, there's a cute little ladybug on it. And then here's the lanyard. There's nothing uh, particular in terms of, you know, critters on the lanyard, but I just, again, love the pops of purples and the greens. And then there is the front, and you, you got the beautiful daisy-like flower, and then the leaves on the other side. So this is my wallet for the week. Love that. And you do have the ribbon zipper pull. It doesn't say Vera Bradley on it, but that's there. And that is the inside of the bag. So... Here is the inside once more. Again, sorry for the for the lighting there, but you can kind of see everything. And if you look in the back, you could still see, if the lighting was better, you could see the bottom of the bag, which means there is more room to spare. If I wanted to throw my glasses in here, my readers, I could fit those in there. Definitely could, you know, have more inside of this bag. I just noticed my lavender meadow blanket is also in the video. Okay, so I'll do a quick try on here for you. Alrighty, if I can slowly rotate this camera to the side. Okay. And this is what the bag looks like on me crossbody. It's a really lightweight carry. It's It carries a good amount, but it's really lightweight and really comfortable. I particularly love throwing this on as a crossbody and a long shoulder bag. I think it fits well as both and also it looks really nice as a short shoulder bag, which I will go ahead and adjust for you. So this is where it falls on me. It basically falls right on top of my hip, just like it did on as a crossbody, but I think it's a really pretty look. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous print. Um, a, a, definitely a great spring, great summer print. But I just think it's a, a super happy print in general. And honestly, it's something that I would happily wear in all seasons, not just spring, not just summer. I would wear this any time of the year. So that is my review and what's in my bag on my Mini Carson. If, um, oh, a couple of the questions that I got, I think, on my last video that I said I would address, I did, uh, you know, comment back to those people who asked questions, but, you know, one was, I think, on the size. Size is great. Um, I, you know, it's a little bit bigger than the little hipster. Definitely fits more than the little hipster. I've got the VBU crossbody, which is styled very similarly to this, but it is smaller. So when I want to step it up a little bit, this is the bag I would choose. 
another question that I got was if I still liked this bag because again I did that video almost two years ago and I haven't talked about the Mini Carson on my channel since. That's because I, I did sell that particular one. I'll tell you why. I said in the video that I you know, didn't care about the pattern placement because I was hunting for that particular style in Moonlight Garden. It was the only one left and I went to three different stores at the time to look for that bag. So I grabbed it and I was like, I don't care about the pattern placement. When in reality, I did care, <laughs> you know, eventually the more and more I looked at it, I did care about the pattern placement because my favorite piece in that print is the big teal flower. Um, so I eventually did get rid of that one, but I, you know, and I'm not sure the mini Carson is something that I would collect unless it was in, you know, some of my favorite patterns. I noticed, you know, Vera is retiring a lot of styles sort of secretly and we're running out of bag styles. So I'm hoping that's not the case with this. I hope they're not retiring it. I wanted to pick it up in Happy Blooms, but I noticed it's not available. Kind of scares me that it's going to be retired in the cotton. We will see. Um, maybe Vera's pulling it back to make some modifications to it. Sometimes they pull styles off the shelf for a little bit and then bring it back with like a new D-ring, like the new double eyeglass case and the coin purse. They pulled that off the table for a little bit and then added a D-ring to both of those products. So they could be doing something like that. Uh, we'll see. But this is something, again, I would buy in some of my favorite prints because it is just a great size for every day. Well, my dog is barking, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video, and I hope I'll see you all soon. Have a great week. Bye.